Okay, so just remember how that felt strength-wise. So when I put you in these positions, I'm testing one muscle by itself to see if it can contract. So if it feels weak like that, or if you get pain, that just means your muscle is not firing. And the reason why it's not firing is because the nerve is not getting the impulse to the muscle. So when I'm poking around, I'm basically plugging the nerve into the muscle, hold, so it's nice and strong like that the second time. So what we're gonna do is figure out who's not plugged in, get them plugged in. I'm gonna give you some easy things at home to keep things plugged in, and we should be good to go in a couple of visits. Don't let me bend your knee. Okay, so what I did right there was tested your vastus lateralis for neuromuscular facilitation. So I'm not trying to see how strong you are. I'm putting you in one position where your vastus lateralis has to do the overwhelming majority of the work. So that position takes your vastus medialis, vastus intermedius, and rectus fem out of the equation. So then when we retest here, hold, test better. Okay, so the first time, it failed the test, gave out because you had neuromuscular inhibition. So the, the nerve muscle junction, muscle spindle, afferent, efferent messages are not getting through. So when I was poking around, I was basically irritating the neuromuscular junction to get that to kick on, and that's why you can stop me now. So that's the difference between assessing strength with like manual muscle tests versus neuromuscular facilitation. So when we get into your exercises, we'll go into how the law of reciprocal inhibition works with what we're going to be doing.